What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to attempt Golem. Now as you saw, or maybe it was too fast, in the first one I got the Terra Blade. So this episode actually took like 3 hours of waiting. Because I literally waited for a solar eclipse to happen just to get the hero sword. And I actually didn't record the solar eclipse. So that sucked. I for completely forgot, I, because I paused the video so I wouldn't have tons of footage, like, all that footage of waiting to edit. I paused the video, and then I forgot to start it again, and I only noticed after the, um, actual solar eclipse. So, right now, I'm actually in the temple, because, as you know, in the last episode, I actually defeated Plantera. So, in this episode, it's only reasonable for me to def try to defeat Golem. Now, this series has been going really, really fast. So, I don't know if I'm gonna do anything after, like, Moon Lord. Like, if I'm gonna, um, make, like, a new world or something. But, maybe I can start doing challenges, like, no armor or stuff like that. Which, I'd probably be terrible at. But, just things like that. Maybe, like, starting with a really powerful weapon or something. Um, so, yeah. So, right now, I'm just trying to get down to Golem. I have the stuff to make my arena. I'm gonna make a tiny arena, kill him, and then, in this episode, I actually left in all the farming. But I might actually do, like, a little bit off-camera later. Because I want to do a lot until I get the, um... Like, the next episode's not coming out until I farm enough that I get a full set of beetle armor... And I also want to get the pig saw. I'll even make, like, another world, break into the temple, and steal the things. If I get- I'll be able to do that and farm golem a little bit more if I get the pig saw. One question. In your opinion, what's the most dangerous place in vanilla Terraria? Like, just plain Terraria, no mods. My- in my opinion, the most dangerous place is definitely the jungle temple. To me, for some reason, it's more dangerous than Golem himself. Golem's not exactly the hardest boss. If you have pretty good weapons, he's actually really easy. And I have good weapons and armor and accessories and stuff. So, yeah. But, yeah, I was as I was saying, this series has gone by so fast. Like, this is episode 14, I'm pretty sure. The next episode will be episode 15, and I'll probably be getting prepared and maybe even fighting the Lunatic Cultist. So, yeah. Um, this series, I might be able to defeat Moon Lord by, like, the 20th episode, or maybe even earlier. Which, we literally haven't had very many episodes. So, I mean... Maybe I'll... I mean, I might do some stuff after, like builds and stuff i'm probably gonna do tutorials and stuff like that but yeah i'll do like post game stuff i'll try to like do more events and stuff to get weapons i'll try to make an awesome base all sorts of stuff like that that are like things you do after you defeat moon lord usually either that or i'll just stop the series tell me what you guys want I could always start another series as, like, a summoner or whatever. Just tell me what you think. If I didn't already say, remember this is a voiceover, so if I mess something up, just know that's why. So. Yeah. So. Let's see. So right now I'm just looting the temple. I'm actually just gonna kind of fast forward to the very bottom of the temple where Golem is. Fast forward me making my arena, and then... Started at normal speed whenever I summon Golem. Okay, I'm about to summon him, and Golem has been summoned. Now, um, I'm actually going to defeat him once, and then just fast forward pretty much the rest of the video, because it's pretty much just me farming him until I die. So, let me defeat him. Golem's actually really easy. For some reason, for me, actually, he's easy the very first time, and then he just gets way, way harder. And by the way, I'm really glad that I equipped 
that, um, thing I got from the Bone Lee, the, um, like, sock things, whatever they are, because the dash is going to be really useful for dodging. So, I'm going to finish this battle, which is actually almost done. Okay, it's almost to the second stage. Okay, now I'm just going to shoot it with chlorophyte bullets, because it's almost dead. Okay, this is... I'm definitely going to defeat it. There's no way I can't. I can't believe that there's literally only the Lunatic Cultist, the Pillars, and Moon Lord left for this series. It's kind of sad. Now, I'm just going to skip for Like, oh, I said skip. Dang it! I failed! I'm just going to fast forward the rest of this video pretty much. Um, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that stuff, blah, 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 blah. Share my channel with people that like gaming and stuff. Maybe they'll like it. Um, yeah. I'll probably start a new series and stuff. So I'll probably make Karen a ranger. Actually, so I'll get like the ranger armor and stuff like in game, but yeah, I'll probably make Karen a ranger since I already have a wizard class. Because I mean, I don't really like melee and summoner, I use melee weapons, but as you can see, the sword and stuff the only reason I use them is pretty much just because of the projectile or whatever that they shoot. Because I don't like just using straight up melee weapons to just hit them. So let me fast forward the rest of the video, and I will see you guys next time. Like a hell cut.